Hey everyone, it's Sam and I'm going to be doing another makeup look and this has been my go-to look and I've been trying to use up a lot of my makeup products and skincare products um, so this these products while the steps might be the same like I'll first start with a primer and then I'll move on to foundation the products will I'm trying to use up the products so those products will change these are just the ones that I'm currently using now uh, I already applied all of my face stuff because I like to let that set, uh, especially an eye primer because it will gunk up in the, in the creases since my eyelids are so oily and so I give that enough time to set in there and then I'll just take off the excess if there's any. And then for my, oh, so the primer that I used for my eyes was the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden and then on my lips I have Carmax, always apply a lip balm before I do my makeup. And then the two primers that I mix together, this one is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer and this one is the Bare Minerals. I just finished this one and I am going to toss it, so that's exciting. I know it's a small size, um, but for me, uh, I kind of prefer that right now because those are so much easier to go through. And now I am going to put on a foundation and the one that I'm currently I have a bunch and what I did actually with my foundations recently is kind of swatch them all on my face and I put them into groups where there's lighter ones darker ones ones that fit me perfectly right now and I'm trying to find it okay so this is the one that I'm currently using it's the makeup forever another small size uh, the ultra HD and I'm going to I've tried this several times this foundation in particular with uh, putting it on the sponge but I think it works better if I put it on my face and then blend out I'm just gonna dot that everywhere and I'll start with two pumps and I feel like this is a pretty good color match for me right now I am done with the foundation and I don't know if you noticed uh, but I avoid my eye area because this will also turn into gunking up my eye uh, eyelids. And then there's just some extra that was on the bottle. I just put that on my chin. Okay, next is going to be concealer. And here it is, that concealer. I'm going to mix it. I found that this works really good with it. It's the Kat Von D. Uh, lock it concealer and it's a neutral color but guess look what happens kind of an older product but it still works pretty good the doe foot fell off but i'm gonna put some on here or try to without poking my eyes out oh that looks so weird <laughs> and i'm gonna put that under my eyes and then i'm gonna use this one but not as much just put a little dot right there and I'm going to use the Beauty Blender again, but the other side. And you can definitely see that that looks better if you caught my Timu makeup video. I think that combination works pretty well and it doesn't look as yellow. But I did want to, so let me swatch this. This is, I forgot exactly the name of it, but I'm sure if you search Timu, you will see something that looks like this. It's pretty popular. Uh, so I'm going to swatch it and then look at how it changes once it oxidizes. Uh, it's such a bummer because this concealer, the, I just love everything about it except for the shade. And um, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, next up is powder and I am using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder which you know what actually since I put a little bit of that shimmering primer I'll use another one that's not a matte kind. <laughs> um, just because it's my favorite then it's here. Uh, this is the It Cosmetics um, Celebration Foundation Illumination and it's the one in medium so it fits me right now. And I definitely hit pan, which is always exciting, but I've gone through so many of these because I use them for everything. I mean, I use it for uh, almost every day, especially during the work week. Uh, 
Can and I do go over um, my eye area just so that the, the primer can really set and I have kind of like a base to put on eyeshadow if I wanted to. Next is going to be blush and I have my clear you know uh, acrylic organizer organizers and I keep all of the liquid and cream stuff out because those kind of expire first um, but this is what I'm going to use the beauty crop blush duo and it's in the color I believe marvelous and it comes with a cream and a powder and I'm going to put the cream and I'm you're going to see uh, when I apply it that I even put it on my nose and kind of closer to the nose so give me kind of like a sun-kissed kind of like a sunburny look and I apply it with my fingers first And I'm done with the cream product and I'm going to go in with the powder. And I haven't really mentioned the brushes that I have been using, but this is one of my favorites. I'm not sure if Target even sells these anymore, but it's the Up and Up brand. And it's one of my favorites for blush and contour. And then, and then we're going to go in with highlighter and I've been trying to use this up. It's the Hourglass Ambient Powders and remember when these were so popular? <laughs> I was so excited to grab it. Uh, under my eye I'm going to use the middle one and I'll switch brushes. This is one of my favorite brushes for putting highlighter. Uh, it's the e.l.f. the one with the crystal bottoms. And I'll put that under, sorry, not under, uh, right at the top there. And then I'm going to bronzer, which I should have done before the blush, um, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use that brush again, clean it off a little bit. And then go in with the e.l.f. bronzer palette and you get two shimmers. These are the two shimmers and then these are the two mattes. I'm going to go in with the two mattes and just contour. And, and if I was in a super busy hurry, hurry, I would probably skip this step. Next, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, and currently I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I really like this product. The lightweight, the lightweightness of it makes it super easy to use, and I would definitely repurchase again. Okay, so start my brows. Point, that's the best it's gonna be um i don't really care about not that i don't really care about brows because then why would i be doing them but i'm just going for a little bit of definition in my brows and i think this does the job so let's move on to eyes and i'm gonna be using i haven't done a real eye makeup look in a long time so what i'm gonna do first actually is I found another use for the concealer and that's going to be, I'm going to put that just in the inner corner and this dries to a powder finish, which is fantastic. And just blend out the product, but keeping it kind of in that area. Too, I put too much. <laughs> so you just need a little bit. Let me just get. Oh boy. That's okay. It's what it is, right? It is right. Okay. 
The next step is going to be using the same bronzer palette for the crease color. And I'm using this tiny elf crease brush, which I love. And I'm taking um, the darker matte bronzer and putting that in the outer corner and a little bit up into the crease. And as you can tell, I don't go too heavy. I'm just looking for kind of a defined um, crease outer corner area. And then for the right here where we put that concealer, I'm actually going to take the Hourglass uh, palette again. And with my finger, I'm going to just pat over that area. And with this tiny detailer brush, I'm going to go into the outer corner. No, sorry. I'm saying inner corner for the eye, but I, you know what I meant. I meant right over here. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to put that same ambient powder. And I've been liking uh, putting it kind of more on my nose, just a little. And then right... That might have been too much because I already put some. And then right above the cupid's bow. Or at the cupid's bow. And I'm back with my mascara on. The one I'm currently using is the It Cosmetic Superhero Waterproof. It was a sample that I got recently. And I'm liking it. It's a little bit too wet for my taste right now. But not too bad. And it holds my curl. Uh, which is important to me. <laughs> and then the last step is this wonder beauty lip retreat oil and it has a color on it it's called skinny dip when i went to use it i was surprised i didn't think it was going to be colored and i'm just going to hurt that over our lips it gives me some color uh and shine let me close Close up. And then the very last step is going to be a facial spray. And I love facial mist, facial sprays, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm, I have a bunch right here, so I'll just show you. And I just use whichever one. Uh, my favorite is the e.l.f. Mist and Spray, I think it's called, or Mist and Set. It's the one in the black bottle. But I have this one. I have this Profusion one. That first one was the e.l.f. And then this is the Revolution one. And I think... I'm going to use the e.l.f. one because I like the mist on the on this bottle. Yeah, that mist is really, really nice. It feels just very soft, and some of these sprays bottles are kind of intense. <laughs> okay, and that is it. We're going to let this dry, and I'll be back to end the video. I brushed my hair. The makeup has settled, and I hope you enjoyed this look. I just wanted to mention quickly, you could definitely dress up this makeup look if you wanted something a little bit more intense, which doesn't require a lot more work. You could just kind of darken the outer corner, maybe add some liner. I feel like eyeliner makes any look a little bit more elevated, and then definitely a brighter or darker lip. And I just wanted to show you, so this is when the product uh, that conceal Timo concealer is dried and oxidized. It's just It's so yellow Wow Anyway, I hope you like this makeup look and I will talk to you soon. Bye